Hello children, welcome back to your next bio class. In this video, we will discuss about lesson number 13, skin, the jack of all trades. Skin is known as jack of all trades or sometimes it is also known as, you can underline from here, master of many tasks. It is because it performs various functions in your body, various functions including your sensation, food storage, excretion, synthesis of vitamin D and many other functions are performed by the skin. And if we talk about systems of our body, it belongs to integumentary system of your body. So please underline it. The first topic describes the functions of the skin and what is skin. If we say what is skin, you know that skin is the outermost covering of the body. And it forms or you can say it is a membrane that covers the entire organism and there are many structures and glands derived from the skin so first we will talk about its functions the major function is uh, included under one heading that is protection the most important function is protection protection from what protection from basically four things mechanical shocks if we get injured we fell down something like that then skin protects our inner organs. It prevents excessive loss of water by evaporation. It prevents the entry of harmful germs or disease causing germs. It also protects the body against the ultraviolet light that is the harmful UV radiations from the sunlight. Then you know that next function is sensation. Skin has many receptor cells. And these receptor cells are basically of touch, pain, pressure, etc. And connected to them are our nerve fibers. So these receptors in the skin, they take the stimulus from the outside. And then they, they, this through nerve fibers, it is given to the brain. Temperature regulation. In the last topic of this chapter, we will discuss how skin regulates our body temperature. Storage of food. Skin stores reserve food in the form of layer of fat contained in special cells. You might be knowing that extra fats are deposited beneath the layers of the skin and that is what makes us obese. Excretion. That means some kind of elimination of the wastes that is through sweating. Sweat is actually a combination of water, salts and these salts are those which are not required particularly some kind of urea also and since sweating occurs through the skin so it also helps in temperature regulation the next important function is synthesis of vitamin d skin can synthesize vitamin d when exposed to sunshine although this is one of the function of skin but so far it is not uh, it, this topic is under study and it is not clearly understood the mechanism behind it all right and grip skin on our fingers and palms forms ridges and grooves which provide more efficient grip means skin helps us to hold the things now let's talk about the structure of the skin basically see skin has two three layers the uppermost layer is called epidermis and then we have beneath a layer of dermis beneath dermis we also have hypodermis but here they have mentioned only two names. So either we will study skin as its structure. And the second is what things are derived from the skin. What are the derivatives of the skin? Derivatives of the skin include hair, nails, like mammary glands, sweat glands, sebaceous glands. All these are derived from the skin. So first of all, we will talk about skin proper. We will learn about its layer. So for this, you need to understand this diagram. I will explain you from here and then you can read it. If we see the transverse section of a skin, sorry, vertical section means we are cutting skin like this longitudinally. Then what we understand, what we see is that this uppermost layer is made up of again three layers. This is epidermis. You know that outermost covering is called epidermis. Epidermis is again divided into three layers. Stratum corneum then granular layer and then stratum malphigii or malphigian layer. Basically, this malphigian layer you can see here 
इट इज मेड अप ऑफ एक्टिवली डिवाइडिंग सेल्स द सेल्स की पॉन डिवाइडिंग ओवर ऑन दिस लेयर मीन्स न्यू सेल्स आर फॉर्म हेयर एंड एज द न्यू सेल्स आर फॉर्म द ओल्डर वन आर पुस्ट टूवर्ड्स द पेरीफ्री एंड वेन दे आर पुस्ट टूवर्ड्स द पेरीफ्री दे लूज देयर प्रोटोप्लाजम दे लूज देयर न्यूक्लियस एंड दे बिकम सॉर्ट ऑफ डेड सेल्स दैट इज वाई वी कॉल द टॉप मोस्ट लेयर एज कॉर्नियम स्ट्रेटम कॉर्नियम हेयर स्ट्रेटम मीन्स लेयर्स ऑफ सेल्स एंड कॉर्नियम हेयर रेफर्स टू द डेड सेल्स बेसिकली मेड अप ऑफ किराटिन एंड ऑल सो देर आर थ्री लेयर्स इन अपिडर्मिस स्ट्रेटम कॉर्नियम ग्रैन्यूलर बिलो इट एंड स्ट्रेटम मालफीजियाई दिस लेयर्स वी कैन यू कैन रीड फ्रॉम हेयर the corneum layer is also known as stratum corneum is the outermost layer it is made up of flattened dead cells and as i told you these dead cells are actually the structural protein made up of a protein we call it keratin right and this keratin is also found in your nails hairs in case of animals in horns and hooves also in silk also and beneath this layer protects us from mechanical damage from bacterial infection from loss of water and then two three layers of these you can see the cells these are the granular cells and these are formed from basically this third part that is innermost layer of epidermis which is malpighian layer malpighian layer also contains coloring pigment that coloring pigment is known as melanin melanin imparts color to our skin it is basically uh, genetically decided if the cells have more melanin skin would be dark and if less melanin is there skin would be light in color and it also appears sometimes when we are exposed to sunlight so melanin is synthesized immediately you must have noticed our skin starts getting tanned tanning occurs that is to protect the underlying tissues fine then there are two disorders related to this pigment that is melanin one is leucoderma another one is albinism leucoderma is also known as skin vitiligo in this melanin is lost in the form of patches and you must have seen people they develop some pinkish patches on their skin throughout somewhere means maybe on the face on the hands on the back some places the exact reason is not known that how the skin pigment is lost but it is lost then the situation then the disorder will be called leucoderma or vitiligo and in case the pigment is lost altogether it can be genetically also this is a recessive trait means a genetically controlled disease then the disorder is known as albinism if there is complete loss of pigmentation of the skin all over the body coming on to the next layer you can see here this is dermis from here below this this is dermis below dermis you will have hypodermis and you can also refer to this diagram this is a colored one this is epidermis made up of three layers then dermis dermis layer we will have rich blood supply you can see these are the arteries shown in red color these are the veins shown in blue color these are their capillaries and these yellow colors indicate the nerve fibers and you can see here the hair follicle cells which form the hairs hairs are coming out sweat glands and sebaceous glands that is oil glands all are present in the dermis layer and if you can observe here this yellow colored this is the fatty cells this lies in the hypodermis so let us come on to derivatives of the skin if we talk about skin derivatives we will first have hair then nails then sebaceous glands that is oil glands sweat glands and mammary glands hair consists of three parts hair shaft hair root let me explain you from here this part which is exposed outside of the skin is known as hair shaft and if we see the part which lies in the dermis is known as hair root hair root at the base point is little bit expanded to form a bulb like structure we call it hair bulb and surrounding the hair bulb we have many follicle cells which form the hair hairs which give rise to the cells which will form hairs and these are known as hair follicles together hair follicles and hair bulb is responsible for the growth of the hair again hair follicle is a structure enclosing the hair root and as i told you 
द कलर ऑफ द हेयर इज ऑल्सो ड्यू टू वेरिंग क्वांटिटीज ऑफ मिलानिन समटाइम्स यू ऑब्जर्व द ग्रेइश कलर और वेन द हेयर बिकम ग्रे और सिल्वरी दैट इज ड्यू टू लॉस ऑफ मिलानिन सम काइंड ऑफ एयर स्पेसिस आर फॉर्म्ड एंड वेन द पिगमेंट इज लॉस्ट देन एयर स्पेसिस आर फॉर्म्ड फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन वी दैट इज वाई वी सी द हेयर एज सिल्वरी और ग्रेइश इन कलर एंड अदर टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू हेयर इज पिलो इरेक्शन और वॉट वी से गूज फ्लैश इट इज कॉज ड्यू टू द इरेक्टर मसल्स सो लेट एस सी अगेन दिस डायग्राम एंड यू कैन सी दिस हेयर रूट विच इज इम्बेडेड इन द डर्म इज इज ऑल्सो अटैच टू मसल्स वी कॉल दिस दिस इज द हेयर इरेक्टर मसल्स इरेक्टर और इरेक्टर मसल्स एंड नॉर्मल पोजिशन ऑफ द हेयर इज वर्टिकल बट ड्यूरिंग Uh, some situations which is under the control of your brain or the hormonal situations like stress or nervousness or horror fear factors and all what happens these erector muscles become they contract and when they will contract if normal position is this they will somehow contract this way if they will contract the hairs will become straight and the surface of the skin will appear wrinkled so this condition is known as goose bumps goose flesh or pillow erection in biology then hair also provide sensation of touch because nerve fibers extend up to their bases and uh, there is a term written sexual dimorphism hair presence of hair on the face means hair sexual dimorphism refers to morphological differences you know that we can differentiate between male and female by seeing the uh, external features if males have facial hair that is the feature of the males so hair also helps in distinguishing between male and female the next part is nails nails are hardened keratinous plate like structures and uh, they also consist consist of three main parts the three parts are plate bed and matrix plate is the outer part of the nail which is made up of dead cells and just beneath the nail the dead cells we have its bed which is called the root and uh, the behind it at the posterior end which you see as a half moon structure that is the matrix where the new cells are produced upon maturation they become dead and they cause the growth of the nail the next is sebaceous glands that is oil glands you know that hairs have uh, sorry your skin has sebaceous glands it is shown over here these are the oil glands they have their ducts openings on the epidermis from there they release the oil this oil is important this makes your skin waterproof and oily and helps in loss of water and sometimes these uh, oily skin can cause certain disorders which we call them pimples acne and blackhead you know that pimples pimples are caused because of bacterial infection with these uh, oily skin okay acne are actually they get inflammation sebaceous glands inflamed due to hormonal influence and that is why this condition acne are uh, very common in adolescent age because lot of hormones are produced in adolescents and these acne can be formed but these are short lived means they will be treated by themselves and blackheads blackheads are caused due to the oxidation of melanin the skin pigment oxidation of melanin on the skin particularly on the face that is called blackheads the next one is sweat glands along with memory uh, sorry sebaceous glands we have sweat glands these are exocrine glands they have their duct through which sweat is produced and the secretory part of sweat gland absorbs fluid from the surrounding cells even the blood capillaries and passes it into the sweat duct which pours it out on the surface right and sweating is a continuous process it depends upon the weather conditions if the weather conditions are hot and humid there is more sweat if it is cold weather winters then sweat produced is almost negligible it can sweat is made up of 99% of water and 0.2 to 0.5% of salts that can be sodium na or chloride cl and traces of urea also sometimes 
due to psychic influence that is psychological behavior due to extreme nervousness or fright there may be sweating even this is called abnormal sweating and such condition is known as cold sweat and this may accompany sometimes vomiting that is nausea and even severe pain due to loss of the body salts so you are still here the next part we will discuss in next section thank you